For those of you who follow my channel, it's been a very long process with my uh, new 73 Bronco in this restoration, trying to figure out what color it was going to be. Uh, but we figured it out. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of My Point 3 Garage. I am Chris. Uh, we made a big decision. So we're going to let you know what color we are going to be painting it. Uh, we went ahead and just ordered the paint, so it is done and it is on the way. And uh, we can't change it now. And uh, also the color scheme, because it's going to be more than one color, kind of. For those of you who are wondering about the, uh, the Big Macs here, um, it is going to be installed. For those of you who are new to this channel, this is what we're talking about today. This is my 73 Bronco right here. Uh, purchased it from Matt's garage uh, about almost exactly a year ago. Uh, and it is almost ready for paint. I've done a lot of the block sanding um, to the body panels. I uh, just need to clean them up and uh, touch it up one more time before I go to paint. And then uh, this is my 74 Bronco, which I've had for a few years. And uh, you can't see it right now, but uh, the chassis for this one and the engine is done. It's been rebuilt. It's ready to go. Still need to do some plumbing for fuel um, and the necessary things to, to get it to run. Uh, but I still have a lot of body work that needs to be done to this one uh, right here before it goes any further. There's the engine right there. It's a five liter that came out of a uh, Ford Explorer. So that still has to be completely rebuilt. Uh, and then we got to figure out a fuel management system and a transmission management system because I'm putting a 4RW70 in it. So, so there's that. And then of course, uh, we have a Husky. Happy birthday, Denali. Happy birthday, baby. So we'll turn the camera back to me while we go past the new vehicle, which I'm staring at right here. This is the 83 Wagoneer. And of course, the uh, YJ. JK. And uh, my old truck, which is going away. See you later. But you can't see the new truck. And here are my two shop dogs, Yeti and Denali. Yeti, Denali. Hey guys. That's a tour of my garage uh, and my vehicles, but let's get to this paint. Let me show you what we're gonna do. All right, back in the study. So when I was looking at paints, I actually went to our local paint supply store and uh, this is the brand that they carried and I really can't find that much on them. It looks like it's a decent brand of paint and uh, uh, I didn't find any negatives on it at all. My local paint supply wanted about $800 um, before tax for just the paint uh, for what I was looking for. Uh, so with everything included, um, probably looking at closer to 1000 or 1100 Obviously doing a little bit of research, found out you can get some paint less expensive. It's probably not as good a paint, obviously. Um, paint for cars had the cheapest. These paints are, you know, about $200 for the paint and for a gallon of paint and a gallon of clear. Uh, but doing some research on it, uh, it doesn't look like they got really great reviews because it might just be a little too cheap. I don't really know what that means because I've never painted a car before, so I don't know that it's the paint that's going to be the problem. Um, it could be me that's the problem. Um, so uh, quickly decided that paint for cars probably wasn't what I was going to do for this for this particular job. Uh, came over here to the coating store and uh, the coating store was uh, more reasonable than my local paint supplier, uh, but it was not um, as reasonable as uh, paint for cars. Um, the paint looks better. I, I don't know if it has anything to do with, you know, maybe it's just the picture of it. Um, I also looked on the forums and it looks like they're, they get a little bit better reviews. But again, uh, people are talking about how cheap the paint is and you get what you pay for. But inevitably, I chose to stay with Eastwood. I've already used their epoxy primer and their 2K urethane primer on the vehicle. So there's really not a good reason not to 
uh, stick with them for this build. I, this actually color was something that I was looking at, uh, this green. Uh, I wanted something green. Uh, thought about red, uh, but it's just not quite there uh, for me on this build. This was more the color I was thinking, uh, but to be more specific, I went ahead and chose, let's see, we're going to do a base coat clear coat uh, on this one instead of a single stage. And we decided on Eastwood Canyon Dusk Copper. So this color isn't very striking from, from looking at it. And actually it was my least favorite for a long time looking at these. But thinking about the fact that I wanted to do two different colors and I wanted to do uh, one of the colors as Wimbledon white, because uh, I'm going to paint the top Wimbledon white, make it a little bit more classic. So we're going to do the Ranger um, striping on this Bronco as well. And I'll see if I can get a picture up here of that. So let's go to uh, Pinterest, uh, which is also a man thing. It can be a man thing if you treat it right. Uh, so I've got uh, Mop 13 Garage, and then I've got you know ideas for my garage here, Wagoneers, early Broncos, and then coming up soon, maybe a cafe racer. I've been wanting to build one for a long time. And I would love to have a Harley like that guy right there. Like that guy right there. Anyway, back to reality here. All right, now let's go to early Broncos. And then it is this guy right about Let's see, right about here. <clears throat> so I'm thinking about that guy right there. Uh, it's going to be that copper uh, metallic uh, right in here. And then I'm going to do the Ranger uh, striping on it just like this. And then there's also a hood uh, stripe that all of you are probably familiar with as well that goes around uh, the bump out in the hood, uh, which is the same color. And then there's a red pinstripe that runs uh, right along here. And then I believe there's one that runs right along inside the uh, extension stripe right there. Uh, although I have to decide whether I want that, that much red, but I don't think I will. I think I'm going to do a red stripe like that. And then uh, these, uh, I'm probably going to do hubs with a red lockout on them. Um, and then maybe some other red accent on here too, just to kind of uh, set it off a little bit. Uh, the rear uh, tire carrier is going to be a body color, uh, just like this, like this one is right here. And then the interior is going to be all that same paint color as well. So I'm not going to rhino line it. I've decided I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm going to just paint it the whole body this one color, with the exception of this Wimbledon white right here. Brown. I'm not a big fan of brown. I think brown looks good on this truck. This truck was originally brown. So I thought, well, I'll just stick with something similar to that, but that it's not actually brown. And I chose this copper. So this copper is very similar to a brown. It's a, uh, I don't think it's a metallic. I think it's a pearl. Um, no, it, it is, it is metallic actually. So yeah, this is, this is a metallic. Uh, but really got me was this. So I'm, I'm a huge Porsche fan, Porsche, Porsche, Porsche. And um, this color is just flipping awesome with this uh, black graphic and stuff like that. So um, this is what kind of threw me over the top. Now, this pricing on this uh, was, uh, so we're going to do a fast. So you're looking at $194.98 for the paint, which is really reasonable. Uh, and then the clear coat that we went with, let's go back up here uh, to automotive finishes, clears. And then we decided to go with the 4-in-1 High Solids Urethane Premium Show Clear on it right here. Um, so I'm going to put uh, as many coats of this clear as I can for the one gallon that I have, which may not be much. Uh, but um, So we decided to, to kind of go up one step because the, the standard is this uh, uh, urethane, just standard urethane, um, European urethane. And, and then you go to the 4-to-1 High Solids here. And uh, this... I guess would be a more premium um, 
option. So uh, together um, with, then you go back up here again to paints, and then I also went back to automotive finishes and colors and base coat and went with the uh, Wimbledon white. So it's an off-white color, uh, pretty traditional color for a Bronco. Uh, that was $180 for a gallon. I figured I'd do a full gallon because uh, I'm gonna be doing stripes on the vehicle, the <laughs> Ranger stripes. I've never actually painted a car and I'm gonna actually go and try to put stripes on this thing. So this will be a lot of fun and uh, a little bit nerve wracking for me. Um, but I also have to do the top uh, for this Bronco. And then I also have the other Bronco, the 74 Bronco, the Bronco to be named later, has to be painted as well. Uh, and it will probably also be Wimbledon white. And we're thinking of the other Bronco more in this this blue metallic or maybe even something lighter, um, like a, 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 I don't know, an ice, uh, ice blue, something like that. Uh, I don't really see the color here. Um, maybe something closer to that for the Bronco to be named later. Uh, but it's going to have a white top also. So I'll just use this one blue and white for both. Uh, so really this $180 will be split between two trucks uh, if I can get it to last that far. All right, so there you go. $563.94 for the paint, the clear, and the Wimbledon white. Wimbledon White will work for maybe two vehicles. Another cool thing is uh, I ordered it on Thursday and um, today is Friday and I already got confirmation that it's gonna be here on Monday. So that's pretty fast. 600 bucks actually came out uh, probably about four or $500 ahead compared to my local paint shop. Don't know if the paint is as good. My impression is that Eastwood is gonna be good. I buy a lot of tools from Eastwood and I trust the name the other, uh, like I said before, the other primers that I used for this vehicle are Eastwood as well. So something in my crazy head says that uh, all of them are made to go together and it's going to make for a better paint job. So there you go. That makes me feel good. Making me feel good is important. If you have not subscribed already, do so because this could turn out to be a complete disaster and there's nothing better than a train wreck. On the other hand, it might turn out great and uh, I'm going to surprise myself. Either way, it's a great deal. We're gonna unveil the new truck that I just purchased. I am so excited. And we are also going to talk about the heater, which is going in. And let me know in the comments if you think that this color, this Dust Canyon copper color is a good color for this Bronco. If you think it's horrible and I should have gone with green. Um, so you can make me feel bad in the comments if you want to, but uh, I feel good with this. That's a wrap for my point three garage. I'm gonna see you in about a day.